This is a quick update from August 1st on the BA Kratky hydroponic non-circulating model of gardening. Inside the greenhouse uh, you'll see the chocolate scotch bonnet which has uh, become quite immense in its size and has uh, been presiding in a 27 gallon tote as well as the other peppers within the greenhouse. Chocolate scotch bonnet pods are beginning to form while not as prolific as the peach scotch bonnet at the moment, it appears that it will have several dozen peppers on the plant. The peach scotch bonnet is more of an upright pepper, although both the scotch bonnets uh, did start out low profile and spreading almost cloud-like in their leaf canopies. On the back side of the peach scotch bonnet, you'll notice that there are several dozen ripe and near ripe pods just an absolute beautiful color. This ahi pineapple plant is coated with green pods, none of which have ripened yet. As I come in closer on the plant, you'll begin to see that each of the pods has a slight elongated shape somewhat narrow. The white peach pepper in the back of the greenhouse is soon going to be six feet in height. It too has a number of green pods upon the plant. Shapes are very interesting in appearance. The ahi fantasy plant that is beside the white peach pepper literally has dozens of pods, several of which are becoming ripe and turning yellow. Although they're a little bit hard to see against the lid that is yellow in color, these pods are becoming a darker yellow and are quite large. The sugar rush peach pepper is continuing to grow in height. I've picked about 29 peppers and the plant still has several others that are beneath the canopy. Here you can see that the pods themselves do have a decent size to them. Outside the greenhouse in the red 18 gallon totes you'll find that the four plants which came from Bonnie's Best uh, nursery starts from a local Lowe's store are continuing to do quite well peat pot was peeled off and the potting mix and roots were inserted into a 3.75 inch net cup which was dropped into the non-circulating solution. I have picked about nine of these large pods off and currently there are close to 12 to 15 uh, pods which I have not even begun to pick yet. The Havasu pepper is another one that I have picked from and as you can see, it too has several pods that are remaining on the plant. They start a nice white color and then transition more into an orange red color. The peppers on this Thai dragon are just beginning to turn color. see the nice chocolate color that is forming right now before the peppers will soon turn red. The habanero plant, which was the smallest of the four Bonnie's Best plants, is now becoming one of the largest. Pods are coloring up nicely and over 50 habaneros are still green and enlarging on the plant. They'll be a prolific producer. This uba tuba kombuki was damaged during the transition from indoors to outdoors. After cutting it back, you can see that leaf growth is beginning along the stem. This sugar rush peach plant is much younger than the one that's in the greenhouse. However, it's very prolific as well. I've picked over a dozen ripe pods off of the plant so far, and I have several more left I could pick off of it. It does continue to produce quite nicely. Here's a close-up of one of the sugar rush pods from the 18-gallon tote. This Uruguay seasoning plant is starting to grow extremely quickly. The pods on it are elongated and narrow. 
pod shape on the Uruguay seasoning is very interesting. This Marupi Amarello pepper has had curled leaves ever since it was seeded. I've changed from the indoor setup to the outdoor setup and the leaf curl has continued. Nutrient changes do not seem to really impact the way that the leaves have uh, become curled and I'm actually looking into why this pepper among the others that are so healthy continues to be this way. This colossal bell pepper has one larger pepper that's continuing to grow right now as well as some blossoms. The butch tea scorpion pepper that is growing in the 32 gallon container did have several ripe pods on it. I did pick off approximately 13 of these pods to make some sauce the other day. The ghost pepper plant beside it does have a few pods that are remaining on it. However, yesterday I did pick off around 20 of these pods to make sauce. This is a close-up of one of the red ghost peppers that's on the plant. 